What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. It's Mr. Warmack. As always, I'm in the building. As always, I'm giving you some food for thought. You may not like what I say. The only thing you can say is he's not a liar. So... As we proceed to give you what you need, you need to sit down because after we're done, you feel like you're taking speed. So let's get into the topic at hand and let me let let me go on my one of my many diatribes I like to go on. So can we can we start this proceedings? You ready? Thank you. Now today we're going to talk about. Um, I haven't done a Middle East video for a minute, and I going to talk about the Middle East. And uh, there's, there's this big deal over there where uh, the Middle East talks are in crisis mode. They've been in crisis mode for a minute. Uh, Kerry has left. Kerry hasn't been over there as much, and Barack, well, Barack, so it goes. Barack only goes there for photo ops, apparently. But uh, Kerry hasn't been over there because of the situation in the Ukraine, so he jettisoned up to Kiev. And, uh,. So as in, in, in the Middle East, Israel froze their plans. What it was is they had a deal where if Israel releases all these releases of prisoners, some certain political prisoners, and uh, in certain stages, there was agreement that uh, they don't know. Well, let me go. Let me go back. There, if they, if they, there was agreement where. I think it was like a, it wasn't a, a written hand, written, it was like a mono mono handshake or gentleman's agreement where they release prisoners in waves and they, uh, they learn about sanctioning the, the Palestinian Authority, which I call PA or PA, because I'm going to say that forever. And, uh, but it was con con contingent on the, uh, on the PA, the Palestinian Authority, not to join, like, like, so like, say, like, say, like, how we have NAFTA, CAFTA, and all other, you know, type of unions like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trade union, It'd be like an organization that could benefit the area. Like, I don't know, like a local Arabs association. I don't know, but what happened was, Palestinian Authority has joined a lot of these little associations with, with countries and stuff. Now Israel has froze. They, they, I think they released two waves of prisoners, if I'm not mistaken. I know my Israeli friends or my Palestinian friends will tell me, but uh, they released two prisoners, two waves of prisoners. But they froze the third wave, and now they're threatening sanctions against the Palestinian Authority after they have requested to join a lot of these multiple organizations, like. Uh, Israel, like I said, Israel released prisoners in three ways. Like the last group is held up. You know, the talks. This is this is uh been going on for a minute. Like last April, this is May, by the way. Uh, and doing that, they're building, they're bidding to build more houses in Jerusalem, which I think was, like I said, uh, this was not a documented agreement where this wasn't say, well, here, let's here's the paper. This is what you said. This is what we said. This is more or less like gentlemen, gentlemen's agreement between groups, which is why this should tell you don't ever get in, in a gentlemen's agreement. Get it in writing. But uh, they're still building settlements in Jerusalem, uh, and it's pushed the Palestinians to join. And the Palestinians, they, like I said, the groups they've joined are like I guess twelve international groups, but. Uh, Israel, they want, they want, but Israel wants them to give up joining these groups for now, at least. You know, because it's creating, uh, it's, it's basically it's creating like Israel's losing face when you think about it. But, uh, but like I said, they joined the groups, but Israel wants the PA to take back some applications. Like I said, they're losing face. Uh, but the Palestinian Story Nation, this is just to me, you know, they're asking for everything they want. They want everything, but what they're, what they're doing is they, they want to get it too fast right now. Like, I guess now the Palestinians want a written agreement saying Israel's going to do this, 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 this. But if Israel was doing it to begin with, 
it seems to me that you guys broke the agreement to do this, this, and this. So now you guys are coming around. I don't know. I'm just this is just my opinion, and this is just my thoughts. Just don't get mad at me. I'm just some schmuck behind a camera. So they want to read agreement to a Palestinian state within with that like they, we all know that this one they want the agreement with the Palestinian state but they want the 67 borders the like border lines and they want East Jerusalem as the capital East Jeru they want the release of the, the more prisoners and they want the end of the blockades like like when you go to the Gaza Strip there is there's blockades there they want to end it that Israel's like well we got it. We can't have this because you guys are still like, and you guys have seen on the news, you're still firing rocket ships out of those certain territories over there. So, to me personally, Israel is they're, they're covering their, they're hedging their bets. How are you gonna bet on a people that's been like not dealing in good faith? Sort of causing organization. I mean, I don't think Israel is really going to deal with you if you aren't going to recognize a lot of stuff that you're doing. So. Like I said, these are just my thoughts. I'm not trying to talk down or get mad or throw place blame on certain people. I'm just saying it is, you know, what it was it is. So, I'm out of here. You know, deuces.